And I think somebody stays in my yard. Because every time I go out to... Wait a minute. Let me let you see. Because I have to get up and come out. Let's see if I can get coffee this morning. Oh, it's a beautiful Sunday morning. I don't know where the church is around here, but I'm going to find it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Y'all see him, don't you? I'm just letting y'all see him. Hallelujah. They stay in the yard. Oh, he has babies. Oh, they breed them. I can get me a dog. Oh, they breeding bullies. Oh, y'all pretty too. Y'all beautiful. I oh, you talking to me? That's why he mad at you. Oh, one trains the other. That's very good. They got some beautiful, you beautiful. They got some beautiful dogs. You see them bullies? Oh, they was pretty. My sister got me like that. She's my god sister, really. God is so beautiful. He gave me a god sister with the same name as my sister. My blood sister. Her name is Monica and my sister's name is Monica. Ain't that something? And I mean, we've been friends. We are friends for quite some time. We have to make up. Why? We have to make up. Because I understand what she was doing now. I think I do anyway. Because <laughs> you've been in some of them areas, sister. And I don't go to them areas. Because it's like this. When you get when you get on a, 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 a slate of when you want to do something different, don't be a bitch about it. Shit. Nigga, we know you trying to live a better life, but damn, are you acting like you living in Beverly Hills now? Motherfucker, shit. Nigga, I'm still the same Karen. I just ain't for no bullshit. And hell, one punch sends my ass to the penitentiary. Why they letting your big mouth ass go up the street? <laughs> you know what God did? He made every dope dealer that I know mad at me. Them bitches ain't getting none of these big dollars. Believe me. Miss Karen Pop was keeping you in your goddamn house. <laughs> Two of them, one of them, yeah, he lucky he got a house because if he didn't have a leg bracelet on, he'd be outside with his bitch. And I'm talking petty on your ass, too. Because any nigga that get out of jail that let a bitch control him to the point of where he ain't got no money and just an ankle leg and this bitch is smoking up all the profits, you need to be talked about. Shit, stupid nigga. I know who had the balls. Because she walked it like she had. Yeah, motherfucker. Walk nasty, motherfucker. <laughs> they call you got this kind, certain kind of walk nasty, you know? The walk, the certain kind of walk nasty bring you money. Something kind of na walk nasty, you just, huh, you stink. But anyway, I'm glad the motherfuckers got hot at me. Bitch, you should have been hot enough to come hit me in my head. Because your daughter, what was it, no, her sister, she's a sneaking bitch. So I know when she come around me, I'm just going to go to whooping her ass. And that's what I'm going to tell my girls. If she get it, if she get fist popping and by you, then you pop her ass. And I'm going to tell them that one's sent to the hospital. That one's going to the hospital. Just you know it. You got warning. I'm ready to have bail money for that bitch. Just don't think everybody that go to church don't have to protect themselves from dogs. Because we do. And it's the fake ones that be in there. Oh, Father God, it's going to be okay. You come up in here, we going to deal with you, nigga. Wasn't nothing pumped about God. He sent them down there to kill up the whole village. Let them come mess with his stuff. He would have killed everything. Damn it, this slow ain't open. God damn. What time they open? I need a cigarette. Shit. I walked all the way down here for one cigarette, though. Damn it. I'm going that way. I ain't got nothing to do anyway but take a bath. Is there another store down there? Let me see. There's plenty of clubs up and down this motherfucker, though. Okay. I don't see one. Let me go this way. 
There's plenty of clubs up and down this motherfucker. This street right here gets hot at night time. I think it's leading into, what is it called? Lake work. It's leading into the yacht club. Bitch, I didn't even know I was at the yacht club. I had been in the hood so long. I like, um, who was that? I really like the LBJ way. I do. Because she a stripper trying to do something different. Because some of us, we up in age to where we ain't nothing worse than an old hoe, bitch. It's time to put money in the bank and save it and go into a different line of work. Shit. Don't you want your vagina to be looking like something? Shit. You might get lucky. <laughs> Shit. I'm serious, you might get lucky and then he wants to look at it and it looks like a fucking monster. They lying because they do look like monsters, girl. I was looking at this porn movie one time. You damn right, I better watch it, shit. I'm going to repent, don't forget. There's something called repentance. Yeah, he let you do it so many times, but he's no caring, ain't fucking, and I like the fuck. Now, but anyway, I was looking at this movie. I don't like them when they just nasty as hell. I like them to have skin time. <laughs> My sister taught me that. I laugh when I'm uh, angry because I'm kind of angry right now. <laughs> because it's Sunday. And a nigga like me need to be going to church. And it ain't just on Sunday, gangsta. I go every day. So, no, I'm not Muslim, but I go like the Muslims do. I go every day, every hour. I'm praying all the time. And that's one thing my Muslim friend gave me was prayer. I take prayer from them, y'all. I don't care. I can't take prayer from no Christian because y'all barely praying. The hell I want to pray with somebody barely praying for? All faiths come from Abraham. I'm willing to accept that one because that's what the Lord say. All faiths come from Abraham. Thank you. All faiths come from Abraham. It's just that um, people have added their own mix to it. Well, I see them Muslims praying all the time. They look like a piece of people. But if you fuck with them, they gonna go fed on your ass. Ain't that biblical? <laughs> y'all stupid as hell to me because when he sent Joshua down to a, a village they was all quiet serving their God thank you father I love you but as soon as they disrespected God it was on they was running down there chopping off kids heads too so don't be sending your kid to, my, to me he did that too y'all that nigga tried to put his little niece probably was a little girl I didn't give a fuck at the time I chopped the kid head off too. Chop, motherfucker. I'm, I served the king. Chop. And it was a whole chop head off. Shit. I'm going to be chopping the woman's head off. He's going to try to put the woman on the phone next. Chop. I chopped that bitch head off. And then I went to chopping their heads off. Because when Joshua went, went down, he killed that whole motherfucking village. About disrespecting God and something they wanted me to do was disrespecting God. I don't give a damn. I can't tell you what it was. I won't tell the nigga business. But just know I got the business, nigga. And you paid for it. So don't think Nafimi crying, he cried. Not me. Shit, he was fucked with a Fort Worth bitch. Don't come to Funky Town like that. Why you think it's called murder work, nigga? Shit. And I'm going to tell y'all, I did it legally. I, didn't, I wasn't even fucked up about it. This hoe got paid. You got me fucked up. This hoe got paid. Believe me, I got paid for that eight years. It seemed like he paid me for Hallelujah, praise the Lord. He paid me for every year. If that's the case, nigga, he paid me for every year that you fucked up on me. Hallelujah. Shit. And if he think I'm going to go back and give him any parts of it, he got me fucked up. Because I was the only one that was dealing in this shit. Even the bitch and the kid didn't have to deal with this shit. I did. 
That's why the bitch and the kid didn't get fucking shit. I chopped them bitches head off. Bitch, are you going to let him do this to me too? And it really wasn't nothing like bad, but it was bad, motherfucker, because wives deserve it. Wives deserve everything, motherfucker. A wife deserves everything. If she wants your motherfucking heart, you better pull it out and give it to her. Because, nigga, in the long run, you're going to need her to do surgery on that motherfucker, not that hoe you talking to. I don't give a damn. Because I'm like this, nigga. If you talking to a bitch, because I had a nigga that could get a bitch. All he had to do was look at the bitch and she wanted him. Shit, just like if he got in the bed with her motherfucking ass, she sure wanted this nigga. Because this nigga was skilled. Do you hear me? He could just eat my pussy and I'd be okay. <laughs> shit, you bitch, you got me fucked up. Because shit, he eating pussy and ass and everything. You got me fucked up. You ain't had your backside of you, girl. You better start backing it up to his ass, I bet you. I bet you, African girl, once you have that eight, you gonna back it up to him forever. Shit. And he gonna know why he on that ass. Shit, I want you to know why you bumping up against my ass. That's because your mouth been on it, motherfucker. Because my mama told me, get them lights to play. Because that stupid ass bitch. You fat, dog. I knew it had to be a fat woman. As long as I got her fat license plate, I don't care. They'll pull it up. And bitch, you better run and leave the car here. She know what I'm saying. I'm petty like that. But anyway, I always ask her, when I ask you how my ass tastes, I literally mean it. (laughs) I mean it literally. Got me fucked up. I better mean it. Shit. Almost made me forget the story I was telling you about. I'm about to remember it because it's coming along the lines of it. What does it taste like? Because I, I was surprised it was like Christmas to me. <laughs> Shit. Nigga, why you think I stay in water? You got me fucked up. He has no problem. This bitch has been in water. I saw her. No, I ain't buying nothing. I bought food yesterday. I ain't buying no food today. I buy my food every day. Ooh, they got some beautiful. Look at that stuff. Ooh, hallelujah. Ooh. Ooh, look at the wedding cake. Ooh, it's got stairs. It only costs five ninety five. Come buy it for me. Shit. Good morning. Look at that cake. It's got stairs, everything going down it. Girl, you know you want that hay cake for your wedding. Yeah. Look at they breathing. Ooh, so I might get one. No, I ain't gonna get one today. I get one Sunday. Oh, there go my hostess cupcakes. I love those right there. Look at how beautiful they don't look. I love the store. Okay. And there go my fruits and vegetables. Look at how good my fruits and vegetables are good. Girl. Oh, I want one of these right here. How much are they? I want one of these right here. One of these bowls. I want one of those juice bowls. So I can make my juice in it. So I can make my juice in it. Okay. Lord, let me let them have it. No, I want some cigarettes. Shit. Mm-hmm. I put my money everywhere. But in my purse. So if they grab my purse, that's all they gonna grab is my purse. Oh, look at they got the little soccer balls, y'all. Look. It must be soccer tip. Oh, they even got one that say Mexico. Yeah. They need one to say Africa, don't they? When they get one that say Africa, I'm gonna buy one. I'm gonna tell them to get one too. Cause y'all play soccer.
Is that the ant manager? Where he go? Because I want to tell him order Nigeria. Yoo-hoo! Order Nigeria! Order Nigeria! I don't know how good they're doing, but you know they like it. You get more of them coming by balls if they know it's here. Hopefully they got a good score. <laughs> he go order Nigeria, y'all. Ooh, I love these right here. These right here. It's jello. That's a good present for a kid. It's jello. I love them. I can eat the whole box. Do y'all sell Newports? Newport 100 is the cigarettes. We don't sell any cigarettes here. Oh, thank you. Okay. I'm not going to get a cigarette this morning. I guess I'm quitting. Have a good morning. Y'all, it look like I'm going to have to quit smoking cigarettes. I can't find one. God dang it. I guess so. Let me see. Oh, Jesus. No cigar, though. Oh, there goes the stuff. <laughs> Shit. Well, you know I ain't none of that on this side of town, D. Shit, I'm cleaning a bitch. I knew what I was doing. I went to another land. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Because my daughter's car quit yesterday and I had the money to pay for it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I had the money when she pulled up into the auto place. And I passed him the money. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Because I feel like crying, y'all. Because, hallelujah. Huh, we would have been stuck. The Lord is working in my mind, gangster. So, if they laugh, they can laugh like I'm going Because in a minute, they're going to see me in the bands again. Hallelujah. How I know? Because I ain't cried one day. And I walked every day with it parked in front of my door. On a flat tire, y'all. That's how jealous the hood was, traders. Well, them hood niggas wasn't jealous. They had everything they wanted, but they wasn't going to let nobody fuck with it. Because they used to try to pull it off. The tow company. Them gangsters have them so scared. I call them saying, you fucking with my car? No, no, no. We not us. Because they knew the gangster was out there. They was going to try to take my car. Even though I had insurance on it, y'all. And it was registered at the apartment complex. Them bitches was trying to take my car. But once they seen who was watching it, you couldn't have paid them to breed it one time. They were scared in a bitch. And I appreciated it. This is close, too. I appreciated it because I would have been paying to get my own damn car out. I need me a fucking cigarette. And my lazy ass roommate won't get the fuck up. That's who I got the motherfucking battery for. I should have let their ass walk. But I got something I got to do. And my other daughter, she got something she got to do. These grown bitches, I mind you. I ain't babying no bitches. I'm not going to do it. Because anytime a bitch want to hang out with her stripper friend bitches, uh, it's time for your ass to get on it correctly. You're not just going to be stripping and having fun. Your bitch going to be stripping and paying a house note. Can I buy one of your cigarettes? I'm really trying to get me a cigarette. I done walked to three stores. If you sell me one, give me four dollars back, I'll be grateful. I'll be grateful. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Muchas gracias. I done walked to three stores. Three stores. Thank you. I'm going to throw it down. Oh, thank you. Where no steers? Have a good morning. He cute. Oh, he cute. I know where to come at now. This is what I hang out at too. He cute. Baby, you know what? You get out in the neighborhood, and the neighborhood sees you. I ain't worried about them. Because once my two get on their crew, they're going to be good. They're going to be some smart bitches. And y'all going to be, they're going to be ready for, 
What's her name? I was sending them bitches to Joshua, and they got me fucked up. Yeah, I ain't got to go. Stay stay mad at her. I'm going to send them bitches to Joshua, and she going to like them because they baby. They could be taught something. Y'all getting the motherfuckers that think they know everything. Because I was looking at the comments. I like um, Ebony J. The Ebony J way. Let me put my money up. Before I lose it. I'm putting it in my hat. I put it in my hat. They think it's in my purse, it ain't. But believe me, it be loaded, bitch. When God feel like it wants to be loaded, he'll load me down. And I go buy good things. Like rent. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Because I tell you about my house. When God say that he be give you things that's already there, they are, y'all. Because I was at the motel. I wasn't looking for no place to stay. But then a call came to me. Everything came to me. I still get the luxury apartment. I just have to go put the application in because he couldn't see it. It was too blurry. And working with my phone, that's why it's going to be blurry. And then my friend, she's so damn. I told her how she can get that apartment. If she take me and do what I told her to do, she can have that apartment. But she can't use my name, you know. She trying to use my name with an entity, with an entity that ain't supposed to be helping me, but they want to. Because they see a black woman paid over $2,000 a month for rent and walking up and down this street talking to Jesus. Not fucking with nobody's shit, not begging for shit. That's why. So she uh, thought she was going to try to fuck it off, y'all, you know. But uh, I'm calling for Karen and so-and-so. At first, I thought she did the right thing. Because God will block something when he don't want you to do it. And I know this is the time when you need to be helping your man, you know. Especially when COVID came and everybody done lost their jobs. <laughs> but I want to say this too. When he a fuck up. And I'm talking about fuck up things that are important to you. And... You apologize later after she tell you about it and tell you all she wants is an apology. She don't think the apology is real. You just apologizing because you want something. So what she did was, this is my story time, I guess. This is what she did was send it and helped him anyway. Because God came down from heaven. And I don't care. He looking at me with this cigarette in my hand. He taking it from me because I didn't buy a pack. That's what a... Christian, okay? But anyway, they got rules. God done already told us what he wanted. That's man rules. I think you call that the, um, oh, what did you call that? I just said it the other day. Disciplines. Those are disciplines. I got a book of disciplines, but I never got to it. And they told me to read the church history. I love reading church history, so they had no problem with me there. The church history is beautiful, y'all. Mr. Baker built every church in Fort Worth from Baker Chapel. And guess what? His church is the smallest. Tell you what kind of man he was. He was a spiritual, earthly man. Not earthly. I can't say earthly. He was spiritual because all the other churches look like mansions. They're beautiful inside. I don't know how he structured it. He was a mason. Yes, he was. My uncles were Masons. That's how I know about Masons. I know about Eastern Stars, too. Mm -hmm. My aunts were. They used to always talk about a ring. I don't know. But I don't want to talk about that no more because that's too personal. Too, too personal. I don't think she's there yet. I'm going to walk down there anyway. Oh, let me finish telling you. He want me to. I'm going to walk down and sit the stove, but... Give me something to walk. I'm walking better. Because I need my surgery. Oh, but let me finish telling you about it. Get to it. Get to it. Get to it. Oh, okay. So when he don't want you to do something, he going to block it, y'all. 
Do it this way. Do it that way. Do it this way. I said, okay. Do it that way. Okay. And mind you, the other entity was calling me too. But then I was watching R.C. Blazers. I like watching him, y'all, because he's a man talking about a man. They might think he man bashing, but if he man bashing, he bashing his damn self. And he'll tell you that. And he's a pastor. And he loves his wife. <laughs> that man actually talked to us from his vacation in London. I was so happy for that woman. She was sitting there in the most beautiful places, just looking at He doing his show, and she just looking around at the beauty, you know. And he didn't um, get mad about it not one time, and she didn't get mad about the show one time. So I kept on trying, y'all. Yes, I was, even to the other one. But when I heard R.C. Blake say this, uh, uh, orphanage calling people saying that he told them to call them and send them money. They lied on him. I sent them his video. And then I sent them a song, too. I think it was one of Doja Cat songs. Whole lot of money. Shit. <coughs> I sent them Doja Cat. And he told me, what's this? You know what it is. Listen to the words. And you know what? I thank R.C. Blakes for doing that because most people would forget about it. They use R.C. Blake's name, girl. And you know what? I like to thank him because one thing I did ask him to call the number and they never answered and he did say they didn't answer. But right now, he's so fucking crazy he done forgot about God. But then he said, I ain't forgot about God, but you doing everything to try to go past him. That's how you forgot. And that's why he going running crazy. He running crazy right now. And I'm not supposed to run crazy with him. Somebody got to have a sane mind. And it's going to be me. <laughs> it was me the last time, y'all. Yes, it was. Because. Ooh. You can look at me all you want. You ain't seen a black girl walking down the street to the store with money in her hand. I wish he would stop me. That's a lawsuit, bitch. Because I'm a suit. I guess she don't open up till about 9 or 10 on the weekends. And I just smoked that cigarette. Oh, well, let me go home and listen to the word. Take me a bath and then walk down here. I got a little sweat going on. I'm walking slower because I need my um, medication. Well, I need my throat done. And I called the doctor and I told him why y'all can't do it in an emergency room. Because really... I'm scared to go to the hospital because all them sick people there. And all that time y'all see me running to the hospital, I was jogging there. I riding my bicycle from across town. And I mean, y'all, I was riding that bicycle about six miles to that bicycle. So it's 12 miles. It's six miles there and six miles back. And I get there. They take their x-ray and stuff, you know. How about this for my daughter? She was feeling good one time. She wasn't walking good. And for me, when I wasn't walking good, because my hip was hurting, y'all. My hip was hurting. I couldn't walk. And I had never got hurt. I didn't fall or anything. I just woke up one morning, and I couldn't walk. My hip was hurting. He hit me on my hip. But anyway, let me finish telling you about it. I kept trying to send this nigga some money to help him out because, you know, that's Africa and they got COVID over there too, motherfucker. And the nigga did have a job, y'all. Yes, he did. But I want to tell y'all out there, y'all got to pray. I know. I've been praying for three years. I'm going to keep on praying. Cause I believe I'm gonna run up that hill one day. Cause the devil tried to stop me too. So I'm looking at something right now that could, but it's gonna fuck me up. And I'm not fucking me up. Nigga, it's going no parts around nothing. I didn't, the Lord didn't help me build because I had never had a bank account. I done had a bank account for years now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because I was running wild, y'all. 
And when you in that kind of scene, you gonna run wild. It's gonna look like nothing's wrong. You just having a bad day when all your days really gonna be bad. <laughs> but I found something that twist. I could twist up. That don't do that. And when I started twisting, y'all, all the ones that I was running around with that glass dick with, they was like, "Why you wanna do that?" I was like, this right here is cool, you know. And I was sitting in one spot and I wasn't running around and trying to trick and hoe and do this and do that to get money, you know. It slowed my life down. Then I saw Jesus, y'all. Because I was going to uh, a Sweet Home Baptist Church and really, you know, Pastor Brown had uh, whatever you call those Bible classes where you become a pastor. That's what kind of class he had. And I enjoyed that class, y'all. I found something that I really liked it. And it's study. Mm. Hallelujah. Gangster. Mm. I love study, so. If that's the way he gonna bring me out, that's the way he gonna bring me out, because I still like my songs, and I like the twirling and stuff. But I know... I can do it only a certain way. I can't run out there like they do and just go to shaking my ass and twirling and stuff like that. I can't do that because I want my life to be something better. And it worked better for Cardi B because Cardi B had a, another plan. You know, she was spinning, but she had a plan, y'all. She wasn't planning on stripping all her life. And as you can see now, she don't even have to twirl, period. Ooh, glory, hallelujah. Oh, they fixed it. They went around the tree. She don't have to spin. And I noticed in, um, the Lord took me to one of her first videos. And I saw how she was acting. She wasn't acting nothing like they say she did. She was trying to get the man to do her music and stuff. And he was trying to feel and kiss and stuff. Not her. And she was like, you know I got somebody I'm looking at. So, you know. And then she comes in. Like most bitches think, you want that nigga when you, all you want is a chance. And nine times out of ten, the nigga don't want the bitch. He want her to have a chance so he can make more money. I'm running around Fort Worth. I found a man with a whole recording studio. This man got over 50 tracks. You know he should be on, he should be on Snoop Dogg team because he got his flavor. But, you know, I put him up there. Scotty too hottie for sure. Because he's slapping gorillas. And niggas don't even slap them. I see two in Fort Worth that's hot. Y'all come to Fort Worth and give some of these niggas some chances. Because you got a whole lot of them. You got, even got the Mexicans. They got some bad tracks. <laughs> they always want to go to the same place. I love you, Atlanta. But y'all don't have all the talent. Because if you look back in history, it all came from Texas. Well, they close to Texas, so we're going to give them their props. Because they do have a lot of talent there. But y'all forgetting us. In Funky Town, we don't want you to forget us. <laughs> That's all right, Funky Town. I ain't going to let them forget us. Fuck that. But anyway. Oh, damn it. These bitches. These bitches, I'm glad I can smell the pot burn. Oh, damn it. Oh, that's burnt. Won't be eating that. This is how tell me. I thought that was my water. Girl, I was going to eat that. Oh well, not today. I won't be eating that today. I bought food yesterday. I found food today. Because they say I get too much of food stamps. Y'all, you know what was so fucked up? I need me a lawyer. Because they're giving houses away to motherfuckers that can't pay rent. And I stood up in that doorway, y'all, you know. Um, 
to get that free help too, you know. Yeah, I had money to pay the rent. I wanted to get in um, a place too. But you know what they told me, y'all? <laughs> they told me I had too much. I was sleeping outside with my daughters in my car. Because, you know, the first, um, I didn't know how to pay the room then. The first week would be like $600, five ninety dollars something So I go on and pay it, and that week would run out. I'm looking at the money because we got to eat, and I got to put gas in the car. I pay the second week, five ninety five again, you know. <laughs> I think we would stay in there about two weeks or three weeks, and then we'd be sleeping outside for about a week or two, you know, until I get my money again. And then we'll do it again, and then I just said, I'm just going to pay for the whole month. No, I, yeah, I said I'm just going to pay for the whole month, and that's when I got to um, Mr. Um, Patel's place. Patel's on everything, baby. And I just don't know, just the spirit just hit me, y'all, and I just hit my knees and started praying right there on the spot. And I must have fucked up every gangster head around there. Because it was gangster's paradise, understand? And I just prayed. And I remember they said, turn to the east and pray. And I saw them turning to the east praying. So I turned to the east and I started praying the Lord's Prayer. And I said, Lord, thank you for bringing me home. And I ain't been outside today, y'all. And somebody came and put their hand on my shoulder. And they said, are you okay? I said, I'm more than okay. I'm talking to the Lord. And you know, right at that moment, I was not afraid to talk to him in front of anybody. Like now, they probably think I'm talking to myself. So now I know with tears in my heart that my son was talking to the Lord, baby. Because he'd be talking like I'm talking. And I say, um, one of these guys made me something. He told me to be careful walking by myself and carrying me something because I'm in open fields. And just because I'm in open fields, animals ain't forgotten. Because Fort Worth is cougar country, and they just in the hills. We just ain't seen them because of all these houses, they don't come around people. But in some places, they're coming around. They're coming out because of all the building and what's going on. Because on the south side, they really came out because Miss Tommy said something was running on the side of her car. And they were foxes. Y'all think it's dogs. Those are foxes. Well, that's all I really wanted to talk about. And it's just the point of um, learning how to have fun in a different way. <laughs> because half the time, they think I'm fucked up. <laughs> I'm high off. They say... Uh, when you get, I remember when that lady told me in jail that I used to go pray with all the time. She said, um, I went to her three times, you know. I came out myself. I seen they was having Bible study. I said, ooh, I'm running the Bible study. I love Bible study. I love it on the outside. You know, I'm talking to the Lord. And then I had my jail, my jail cell person. She didn't believe it until she seen me leave that cell. And I left shouting, shouting. Because I left shouting because I left with money. And I had built myself out. My my people, I'm going to pray. But anyway, I don't even want to talk bad about them no more because I was going about it the wrong way. Because he say, I don't be wanting to cry, y'all. He say, fight with the word gangster. So I have to always say no weapon for him against that shit prosper. Prosperity is, um, I just want to say you need to tell the Lord the truth at times because he deserves it and he know it anyway. So, you know, <laughs> that time I started seeing that Jesus sign, they tell me, you okay? Bitch, I'm more than okay because I got a devil ask me what's wrong with me. So I know I'm doing the right thing. And I don't even want to say nothing because their Bible was beat up. Their Bible was beat up. And when I say their Bible was beat up, it was all kinds of different ways and stuff. 
So she was out there praying and God heard her. Yes, he did. Because she's the most beautiful person I know on this street. Because on holiday, she never forgot nobody. Your birthday, she won't even forget you. And that's important to a hoe. She would walk up there and she'd have a birthday present for you. I mean, something nice. Even cake and stuff. <laughs> and ice cream and balloons and the song and everything. That's Franny Mama. Lisa Lancaster. I know she's going to be mad at me, but she blessed the street, y'all. And I'm telling you, this Christmas, we all should take her something. I don't know about y'all, but I'm going to take her something. Because... She always gave me a good, um, a good word. Because she know that I be all stressed out and everything. And I be fussing with my grown daughters and stuff. She said, let them help you. Let them do this. And, you know, she always tell me something good because our family is almost alike, you know. I ain't going to go into all of that. But we are alike in some ways. And, you know, a black woman... A white woman, Mexican woman, we all need to get together and start helping each other. I admire the Spanish woman because they'll all stay. In. It'll be three of them in one house and they'll get along. I guess we think they're getting along, but you don't see it on the outside of their houses. You know how some people come out cussing and throwing stuff. You don't see all of that. You see family. And one good thing about my daughter's boyfriend Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Our first family photo, he had us take it. This house, Antonio got us this house. Glory, hallelujah, I love that man. So, you know, I don't feel like they should leave. I think they should stay and more should come. Because go look at our neighborhoods. <laughs> They're beautiful. And they was trash before. Y'all go look. Go look at Polly. Polly was, you couldn't even drive through Polly without getting pulled over and took to jail. People were scared of Pollywood. Because the police was bad over there and the niggas was too. It was so raggedy over there. But go drive through Pollywood. Now you think you in heaven. You see little houses, mashes and everything. And you see them building big houses too. So at one time, <coughs> excuse me, at one time, they wanted us to move out of Hollywood. They were taking people houses because the rich man wanted to wanted Hollywood because it was closer to downtown. They got tired of driving from out of town to in town because at that time, out to outskirts houses were better. You live better. But now, baby, it's the south side they want. And the south side is the black side of town. And Stop 6 was the black side of town, but there's a story about Stop 6. They said Stop 6 was the last stop. You couldn't even get a, a police officer to go to Stop 6. <laughs> them niggas was not having it out there. You could not get them to go to Stop 6. But right now, they're giving the wrong person, they're giving the wrong people trouble. Because they came and made our city beautiful. Yes, they did. Because we were so jealous of the north side. Because it was so beautiful. And our side of town was fucked up. But they started moving to our side of town. And we was happy. Uh, the ones that wanted our side of town to be beautiful was happy. Because it's beautiful over there. And they're getting along. The churches are coming together. Go look. It's, yeah, it's Sunday. You know, the only thing I'll be mad about on Sundays, I'm going to tell you why I'll be mad. Because them bitches know I need to ride to church and they never call me. My daughter got a car. I don't have a car. She's a youngster. I don't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it like that, y'all. She believes in the Lord. Believe me, and she know I want to go to church this Sunday because I told her I like to go to church Sunday. 
But I know the only way I'm going to get them to go to church, I'm going to have to go to a church that they like. You know, like one of them new churches where they jumping and stuff. But it's not jumping. They leaping, baby. It's called leaping. He leapt out the grave. They leaping. So I know what it is now. I was like, why is everybody jumping? Because I'm telling you, sometimes I get that jumping spirit and I be jumping. I don't know why I be jumping. I be in the house jumping by myself. It's a leaping spirit, gangster. That's a good spirit. You're praising the Lord. But um, it's Sunday. And I always want to cry on a Sunday. Mm. Like I said, because them bitches know I ain't got a ride and they know I want to go to church. I go every day, y'all. It ain't just Sunday. I don't need no Sunday. So the Lord taught me how to go on my phone every day. And I go on my phone every day. And I had a chance to join a church um yesterday online. But I felt like I was cheating on the church that I be listening to all the time. <laughs> but I got to get back to where I was because wherever that church is and I go to the door, God is there. I'm going. So I don't even want to... Um, be um, put in that category of I got to be in one place because God is everywhere. I know we should study under one person. I had to experience about that because I went to a church where um, I was going to be late and that's something that I don't want to be. I don't want to be late when it's dealing with God. And so I was going to be late. So I said, well, I'm going to stop in this church and listen to the word and then I'll go on to my church to um I forget what they call it to the second session or whatever. But when I went up in there, y'all, the man, the men in the church, they had gotten old. They didn't have nobody to really have their back. And they, I guess all of them are preachers because they're brothers and they all last name is D. Start with D. I know the man's last name. And as he was trying to remember the, the scripture, I Google it, and I wanted to run up there and, and give it to him, but I didn't want to be out of line, y'all. I should have ran up there and gave it to him. The Lord told me, from now on, give it to him. And I learned that day, you can't learn from everybody. I learned it because I had to experience it. And I was like, Lord, I don't know why I was late. I just didn't want to be late. <laughs> <laughs> but I ended up becoming friends with them people because they had some beautiful clothes and they used to give clothes away and I used to go down there and get all their beautiful stuff that was in stock six so y'all this just don't happen up on me it's just sticking to me and I know how to do taxes that's where I learned how to do taxes at I got 78 th $78 thousand dollars stolen from me wanting to be fuck getting fucked up because i was too busy trying to get fucked up i learned a lesson from that when it's time to go to work and make money baby you cut all of that off i lost seventy eight thousand dollars i had never seen seventy eight thousand dollars but i had made seventy eight thousand dollars y'all that's the first time I had really made some big money, too. I didn't get to see it. Because that bitch told me why I didn't get to see it either. <laughs> oh, I got whiplash, y'all. <laughs> yes, I do. I had got hit. I got hit by uh, illegal. And, you know, I was so glad they told me they was. But they told me, well, I don't get paid till a certain day. Can you wait till that day and come to my house and get it? And I trusted them, too. They... They not liars. When they say they gonna do something, they do it. I waited a week and I went to that house. They even told me where they worked at. Cause I went to my insurance claim. Mind you, I drove a Benz, baby. Shit, I went to my insurance claim. Cause they insurance wanted to pay me like $78 for a Benz door. And when I called the Benz company and told them how much they wanted for that Benz door, they said, oh hell no, nah. bring it out to the company and let us estimate it off for their ass. 
baby, they would have been buying me a whole brand new Benz. I'm telling you, because I had, I had insurance on it. I always keep your car insurance because you got a lot of jealous hoes. You know what I'm saying? But on the end point of that, I just went and took the money that they gave me because they were fair people. I didn't want to be greedy to them. And that's how I know God is sitting in me because the old Karen would have wanted all of that shit. And I wouldn't have never stopped knocking on their door till I got tired. Or they just stop oh, asking me in the door. <laughs> I would have been there every day asking. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm about to go in here. No. I'm about to put something good for us. So, y'all have a good morning. Thank you for listening to me because I needed to talk. <laughs>